both the security men and journalists have their jobs to do. We journalists were sent there to cover the assembly, and without the covering, nobody knows what is happening. So for policemen, SSS, and whatever name they call themselves, to not descend on journalists, they perform a duty, is very, very unfortunate, and we condemn it. Friday Otabo, correspondent with Nation Newspaper, Isaac Olamikon of Daily Independence, Aliman Aliu of Guardian, and Alex Okere of the Punch newspaper and other journalists were said to have been molested by some security men deployed to a dusty house of assembly during the inauguration ceremony. Narrating the ROD in the hands of the security men, the journalists said the security men prevented them from covering the inauguration despite introducing themselves as journalists by means of their identity cards. They said while trying to convince the security men that they needed to cover the ceremony, the policemen started molesting them and thereafter detained Mr. Liu of the Guardian newspaper. Policemen at the gates prevented us. In spite of showing our identity, letting them know we are journalists, we are all that, they wouldn't let us in. One of the policemen nearly punched me on my face. Say, I'll, I'll blow you for face, okay? The next thing we knew, they just took a little into an inner room. What happened today was very really unfortunate and a kind of a barbaric cut for a police to bar journalists and even detain our colleague. And saying they even when I shoved the punch reporter and tore my trouser. One of them lift, lifted me up and in the process, my trouser got torn. I showed them how they can. I work with the guardian. They said I should wait. For one minute, two minutes, ten minutes, thirty minutes, forty minutes, more than one hour, we kept there, and while they were allowing other persons to go in, they used so many derogatory comment statements about journalism and journalists, and for us, we felt bad. I was totally detained. I was pushed aside. I was almost bruised, so I, I felt very bad because we were we were carrying out our constitutional duties, and then the police who understood what we were there for did not allow us in, so I felt really bad. Speaking on behalf of the leadership of the union, the secretary of NUJ in Edo State, Titus Ahigwe, condemned the action of the overzealous policemen and noted that the leadership of the union will be meeting with the hierarchy of the security agents with a view to calling their men to order. The, lead, the leadership of NUJ will made up of mind to meet with the leadership of uh, SSS and, uh, and uh, commissioner of police to let them know that this kind of thing should never repeat itself again. There are people should always be told who journalists are. Every now and then, our uh, people get attacked by security agents. It's unacceptable. The police public relations officer, DSP Stephen Onche, is yet to make any public statement on the matter. Best Mbire reporting.